Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash, and I'm here with a review of Fall of Porcupine on Xbox. Now, this was released on the 15th of June 2023, developed by Critical Rabbit and published by Assemble Entertainment. And I was lucky enough to be sent a free copy of this game to do this video review, so big thank you to them for that. Now, this game is a adventure game in which you play as a fledgling doctor called Finlay. Now, he starts at St. Ursula's Hospital in a sort of like small town called Porcupine. Now, it's all about him sort of doing his day-to-day -day job as like a, an up-and-coming doctor. Uh, he has an accident right at the beginning of the game and it's all about him sort of getting back into work. And basically it's like this idyllic little town everyone seems to be really nice and friendly and stuff like that but not everything is what it seems so it's a very narrative heavy game and at times this game absolutely soars and at others it, it just falls a little short of being as great as it possibly could be now the first thing that stands out to me is the absolute gorgeous art style. I love the look of the game. I love the character designs, how they're all different types of animals and stuff like that. I love the characters in the game. They're well written. You have a load of co-workers and you get to know them quite well. And they be, like your, they're your friends and you really sort of get to know a lot about all of the sort of major residents of this little town you're able to interact with them talk to them grow your relationships with them and that side of this game is fantastic now on the other side of the game while the story is very interesting it starts off a little slow and then a certain point in the game it suddenly sort of ramps it up to 100 in terms of like everything gets thrown at you straight away and then afterwards, it sort of just comes to an abrupt conclusion. Now, I don't want to spoil the game because the story is the, the main part of it. It just You just feel like there's not enough resolution. There's too many threads left hanging at the end of the game. And you're just sort of like, hmm, what happened about that? And what happened about that and that person? And it's just it's just a shame because like i say it builds and builds and i just don't think you get the resolution you really really need from the end of it now it's not just narrative in this game there are also a whole host of mini games to find some of these are absolutely stupidly easy then some of them are slightly more awkward but um overall like i say they are a fun little break to the very sort of dialogue heavy gameplay that you'll find in this game and i don't mind the gameplay like i said there's a lot of discussion a lot of um back and forth between all the characters and i'm all for that like i love games that are narrative driven but it is nice to sort of break it up with these mini games it's just a shame that they don't really have any effect you can fail them all really badly and none of them seem to really have any meaning it doesn't it doesn't fail the game it doesn't make you have to restart or anything like that you just sort of get like oh you're not very good at that and then on the story goes now the characters like i say are all well written i enjoyed it the soundtrack is fantastic it isn't all perfect there are some translation issues i believe this is like a german or dutch game originally or something like that and it's um, been translated to obviously English. There are a few little sections where it isn't translated perfectly, which is a shame. And there are a few little glitches here and there. I've not had anything that really spoilt my gameplay, but I have seen a few people online say that it has uh, like soft locked um, their game. They've had to like reboot and stuff like that. And also, one thing you should be aware of. I luckily didn't realise this while I was playing it, but apparently if you look at the achievement list, it kind of spoils the plot. 
in some points. So don't read the achievement list if you're going into this um, and you want to just really sort of be surprised with the story as it progresses. Now, I do love this game. I love being able to explore the environments and stuff. Like I say, you can walk to work every day. There's different routes you can take. Uh, each of them take you through a different way through the town. You can visit the establishments and stuff like that. There's like a pub and a shop and the woods and everything. The whole thing is really well done. Like, do you want to take the stairs or do you want to take the lift? You can do that. You can get a bus to work or not get a bus to work, that sort of thing. It's silly. There's also some casual platforming sections that involve jumping and from ledges and over things and stuff. But it, it's 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 not hard. There's no real like falls to your death or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about it too much. Overall, though, like I say, it's a really good game. And I really want to recommend it to everyone. Like... It has a, a deepish story, especially for those that are interested in like healthcare and balancing your sort of work-life balance and stuff like that. Trying to have friends, but also work hard and achieve your goals and everything. And it obviously has the uh, underlying sort of <sighs> things are not what they seem plotline woven through it, which rears its head towards the end. It's just a shame that like the story... While it takes a while to get into, I mean, like I spent the first couple of hours and I was in those like first hour and a half and stuff. I was just going to work each day and doing my day to day job and stuff. And then I went out one evening with my friends and I, I, I like that sort of gameplay. It then really ramped up, but the just the last, the just the last hurdle is that like the last chapter of the game as such, the last where you would expect it all to be wrapped up into a nice package. It just doesn't give you that resolution you're probably going to want from it now the game is playable on xbox one and xbox series x and s consoles it's optimized for series x and s with 4k resolution and 60 fps and it's priced at 14.99 so if you want a really nice looking game with great soundtrack great dialogue and stuff like that but you unsure of like how the story ends you may want to wait for a sale but story like narrative driven fans i highly highly recommend checking this one out i had a, i had a blast playing it it's just a shame the ending left me with a bit of a sour taste in the mouth when i just want to know what happened next and there was no sort of like follow-up to anything and that is the worst thing for me in games especially narrative games where you get like a bit invested in all the characters and the relationships and stuff like that but hit that like button hit subscribe leave a comment down below if, you, if you're interested in this game and if you've played it what did you like about it like which characters were your favorite like what did you think of the story try not to spoil it in the comments though um but definitely like i say check it out and i believe there's also like a free download that you can play so this is like uh, a prologue so i highly recommend checking that out i haven't played the prologue so i can't say if it takes place before the game or anything like that but if you want to get a sense of what this game's like i'd recommend trying that first because it's just more of the same and i see a lot of people sort of comparing it to a night in the woods i've never played that but I see that a lot, like I saw it on Steam, people were saying it, I saw it in reviews before I even got a copy of the game, because I was trying to, like, I was thinking of picking it up myself before even being sent a copy to review, so, if you like Tonight in the Woods, this definitely sounds like a game that you're probably going to be really interested in. But then that, guys, thanks for watching, hit that like button, and we'll see you soon for more content. Bye for now.